Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. I'm your Game Master Darius. So last we left off, I said that I was going to do these quests off camera and do a little bit of uh, myrtling, more or less, for some more equipment uh, so I can break it down and, you know, do the whole increase thing. Turns out, though, uh, I forgot that the guards only drop their weapons. They don't drop their armor. So I can't get stuff like chainmail or whatever to increase, say, my knight's armor. And I, I, I think, I don't quote me on this, that there's a limited supply of guards in town. Because I slew like four rather quickly, mind. And I don't see any others Not, like after a slew for them no more came for me so I'm kind of in a situation of if that's the case then that's not as lucrative as I thought it was going to be which is a little distressing or unless it's one of those things where I have to load in and uh do some more. And again, and again, you cannot slay random NPCs or whatnot, which, you know, makes sense. You're not a complete scumbag in this game, apparently. Um. To that end, though, that only really leaves the ability to go in and purchase stuff that you need to break, then break down for the stuff that you want to increase. So, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to increase this knight's armor set at all anymore because it's pretty strong as is weapons I I might continue increasing my weapons although what did I just drop it um I pressed Y why did I drop it or was Y just a... No, no, that... I pressed Y. Where's my hammer? You're gonna make me reload just so as I can actually get my hammer back, aren't you, game? Oh no, I'm an idiot and I accidentally sold it. Because I didn't realize I was in the shop screen. I'm pretty sure there was an autosave. I'm hoping there was an autosave. Frick. I don't think there was an autosave. Oh. oh, yes, I do feel like a moron. I do, again, it's not like that there was too terrible much that I had actually found. There was, like, four guards. Each of them had a sword that gave me, like, two, two iron. And that was it. And a little bit of experience points, but even then, not a whole lot of experience points. So, uh, the whole endeavor was kind of pointless. The most I could have probably done is I could have gone and sold the armor, the weapons that they get, gave me. That's about it. So, but I already used to have a pet, a cute gargoyle, which she bred like a pet. Yesterday, while taking it for a walk in the jungle, some Viddens attacked them. My daughter reached safety, but her gargoyle's luck was worse. The Viddens got it, and I believe they intend to eat it. When it comes to my little princess, I take everything personally. I want to make this very clear. We'll pay for the total extinction of Viddens in this land. Okay. Mind your manners. Mind your manners. But yeah. So I'm not sure if there is absolutely no point in it in um murderizing every guard that you see beyond just wanton acts of destruction. 
which can be a little bit, um, pointless. <laughs> like, even if I just sold them, I would have only gotten 4,000 Samadaras, which in the grand scheme of things might have gotten me, like, two things I could have then broken down uh, for materials, which is not great. So it does... I don't know how to say it. I think it feels like that doing any armor crafting might be something for much later game, where you re where you find the armor you like, or the best armor of the game, or whatever. Respec to get as good in that armor as you can get. Respec back to what you do and use the armor. At least that's what it kind of feels like. Because, um... Boy, howdy. Cool, Stark. Looks fun. You get to you 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 use up a lot of materials simply, uh, simply going. Oh, hey, I like this armor set. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Oh, hey, I like this armor set. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. That said, it's not that I hate the crafting system. It's an all right system. I think my problem with it is that it it's just very much a situation of boy howdy I just spent like 5k worth of materials on this one armor set would be a shame if I got rid of it oh hey a better armor set oh right large Catalonian metal shield Oh yeah, it does- oh, hello. Excuse me. Alright, the Vidans were these guys who were very much also mages. And not mages of poor skill either. Please let me kill your mage. Okay, I thought I killed you. Glad you had me. What do we have here? Uh, of course. Stay down. There we go. I'm not even sure these things actually drop your, uh... Drop some armor for me. Which is not great. Because, again, that just lends more into what I was saying about how the armor crafting system works in this game. Oh well. <clears throat> I suppose, really, I should be in, uh, going further into the story so that I might need to go into the scavengers area. So that I can possibly f find more NPCs and enemies that will drop armor for me. But I kind of want to do these other quests first. Pied Piper of Ashos. The Warrior's Guild is issuing a bounty on the head of the man known as the Pied Piper of New Ashos. This man is a lic licentious, cowardly fraud hired by the Gar Guild months ago to eliminate a plague of snakes ravaging the city. Unfortunately, the payment dispute left him disgruntled, and he summoned a horde of ravening beavers to bring our beloved city to its knees. Bridges, homes, schools, and very li and very lives are at stake. Killing beavers may not be respectable work, but the pay is good and will be added to the bounty on the Pied Piper if brought in tandem. Well, all right then. I'm off to slay a buttload of beavers. Where are, where are these beavers? Over here. I really would have sworn that there was a teleporter on that side of the everything. Well, I guess the closest would be the quintessential oak. Oh boy, here I go, killing again. This time, beavers. Yeah, let's smash them. 
Uh, beavers? Warned you. Yep. Just small group of beavers. I found the second horde of beavers. Oh, come on. Kind of expecting them to be up river. Shut up, phone. I'm sick of you today, phone. I probably should have turned you off. Hey. That'd have been smart, though. And let it be known, I'm not a smart man. Stay down. So. Any of these beavers gonna prove dangerous to me? Bet you're glad you led me. Let's get this over with. Come here, Velociraptor. Sorry, Draconai. Warned you. Now I'm wondering whether or not I care to even try to kill those guards again. I mean, it's their pitiful experience. Oh. I hypnotized Snake. You evidently mean Viper. Please focus on the dude who I'm trying to kill. S stop blocking. Putting blocking mechanics in a video game has got to be some of the most obnoxious stuff you can do in a video game. Well, them snakes is dead. Them snakes also barely did anything to me. Alright, next quest. Doo -doo. Brain College. Please don't involve mind flares anymore. Scapulari Ranch needs help. It's harvest time and we need help need uh, yeah, need helping hands to assist in retrieving the organs of our lovable Scapulari. Unfortunately, the Scapulari seem to have become self-aware and are organizing the revolt. We need you to put them down. Visit my place and enter the lab. The brain is the most important of their organs, so it will be paramount you retrieve sufficient samples. Find Mage's secret husbandry of Strange brain creatures. <clears throat> Have I ever mentioned that this game's a little weird? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I was stuck in a tree for a bit there. I was very worried. But yeah, I guess. I guess after all this time, I should have realized that the armor wasn't going to be so plentiful that I was going to be able to absolutely upgrade everything to the maximum when I go to use them. Definitely kind of thought that further into the game, I might find more oh, armor, though. To be a few more of you to kill. Listen. You big cats are not what I'm here to slaughter. But I will for the experience. So yeah, not, not necessarily a detriment, I would say, but it's definitely something to keep in mind where it's like, hey, maybe, maybe just, you know, keep some of the, uh, some of the gear you find. Hey. So as you don't have to worry about um, leveling up stuff later. Because let me tell you, right now my biggest pet peeve is trying to find any armor that I can upgrade shit with. Armor, weapons, what have you. So I thought that this was the place.
Oh, unless it's in the cave below? Oh. It's me. Alright. Get knocked down. I get up again. Please don't knock me down again. I really like that the switch over from one, one weapon to another is basically instantaneous. <laughs> That's rich. Okay, I thought I saw a second, a third raptor rather, but eh, okay. And of course, oh, nope, I already looted that. Yeah, there was a neighbor. Collect nine brains from the husbandry. I'm gonna guess that this is the entrance to the husbandry. Do I slash the brains or do I smash the brains? Also, I might have forgotten what the scapulary looks like. The monster, I mean. Oh, right, they're the strange lizard things. Oh, they're actually resistant against bludgeoning. Funny enough, this sword is perfect for fighting them. <laughs> That's rich. Place the brains in the next to the front door. Or give me a moment while I murder the rest of them. You know, with it being as dark as it is, it's kinda hard to see how some of these creatures look. Which might be for the better, because... Ugh. Some of them look like... Kind of like T-Rexes with brains exposed. Some of them look like uh, Cthulhu. Won't lie. Kind of prefer the Thulus. Do I need to murder the rest of these guys? Probably not. But... I got no excuse. I, I just wanna... The woes of being caught as a ranged individual. I only needed nine, right? Well, I do love my job, so why don't we, uh, why don't we go for broke? Oh, dang it. Uh, I think that might have been all of them. Boy howdy, I hope I don't lose out on some sort of a bonus because I decided to murder all of them. Because, you know, that whole monster husbandry thing, which for some reason is lucrative. Ah, yes. Excuse me. While I risk life and limb to breed these animals that, uh, aren't actually animals in the slightest. In fact, they are very intelligent beings that will bite my brain out. Excuse me while I question your decisions. Now, which one was the scapulary? <laughs> Damn it. Unless it's, uh, one of these things again. No? No, there's no scapularies in there. About... Okay, scapulary brains. Did it! Alright. I am a literal sneeze away from a level up. Might as well finish off 
the quests that I might be able to do. Wanted, Aquila. Reward award offered for an outlaw mage Aquila and all of his allies. Last seen with his associates at the Summer Cove, take no prisoners. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that in spades. Slay Aquilas. Oh, over this way. Gosh. Slay his soul swords. Hello. I see you have armor. This should be fun. Are you actually soul swords? Wait, did he hire guardians in order to do his dirty work? I mean, okay. These aren't the same quality of guardians that were protecting the town, thank Frick. Because now I'm just imagining trying to kill all the guardians in the town if they were stronger than this. Or weren't stronger than this. Do I have a little step backy attack? I don't know about. Or is that like a one-handed thing? Don't don't go in the water, sir. I assure you, that's only gonna make me angrier. And you pricks. I'm taking no prisoners for a reason. Stop. Don't move. Partially because they're paying me for it. What are? Stay down. So now that lies the question, seeing as I'm slaying a bunch of dudes that have executioner blades. Which again, were the swords that the guardians in the town drop. Do I bother breaking them down, or do I want to kill his personal bodyguards now? All right. Do I want to break them down, or do I simply go, eh, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd love to not move, but unfortunately, you're moving, which makes it really hard to simply decide to not move. Seeing as I have to move to now hit you. Freaking stop backstepping. The worst thing guarding. Personal guards, eh? Not very good at being personal guards. No, save for the annoying backstepping part. Is there a part that I don't know about that allows me to backstep? Okay. One more of you? You, did you? Alright. Are you Aquila, and did you seriously just get caught in my- you did. I mean, alright. <laughs> Here I was, expecting to fight off against some powerful mage, having to dodge attacks this way and that way, only for him to literally jump in front of my hammer as I was killing one of his bodyguards. Ah, <sighs> can say a lot of things about this AI. Annoying. Is one of them. Um, smart? Nah, nah, not really. All right, let's go get paid. As soon as I can recollect where the hell the things are. One, two, three, four, five guards this time. I'm not saying I'm immediately going to jump at the idea of, you know, murdering and looting them all at this point, but... 
five gardens have. I wonder if they just respawn huh, upon entering and leaving the village. Because that would make it far more lucrative. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Hey. All right. Beaver Slayer's Cape. Okay. Uh, invisible Brim. Purely magic y thing, but sneak. Sorcery Artisan. One moment, folks. Sorry about that. I had to have a talk about a dog. Anyways, um. Money. Not a whole lot of it. Lockbreaker, though. That's a good one. I'll be happy to toss that onto my equipment. Life effect, decay, life. Yeah, this is not terrible stuff. Just you know, more stuff I'm not going to use. And now I'm still, I'm still kind of torn about whether or not I want to. Well, these I can break down. That I can break down. Those I'll probably just sell. Those I'll break down because they have iron. That has iron. Does have wood. I've got plenty of wood. Yes, there's an immature joke in there somewhere. Uh, don't really need wood and earth. What the phone? Am I an idiot? I mean, yes, I am, but I am an idiot. I could, I, eh, I know I've upgraded some of this already. I had to, to have the four slots in there, but I forgot entirely that I could have. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to rip the skill crystals out of these. Damage. You're steel? No, you're just wood and iron. It pains me that they are providing only wood and iron. I guess I could sell those. See, here's the thing. I could break these down for iron. And that would be, what? 5, 12, 24 iron. Keep in mind, though, it takes, like, 2 to currently increase that, 10 to increase my helmet. And then I would still need to have chainmail. So it might just be better to sell these off to recoup some of the cost of having bought that house. A whole lot of the cost of buying that house, but regardless. Who knows, maybe the weapon shop will have a dude have something that has skill points in it? A man can dream, evidently. A man can dream. Anyways, um, four thirty-five. I thought those were more expensive for some reason. Where was I? Th oh, maybe. Okay, these are executioner blades. They're not the guards' executioner blades. The guards' executioner blades can be sold for a pretty penny because they are stronger. These are not as strong. But I'm still going to sell them anyways. Uh, same with these twin military axes. And the U-bows. And these earth mage staves. And the lightning blast. And the gargoyle. Gargoyle. I definitely don't need any of these uh, quivers. Tell you. It honestly does pain me somewhat to sell all this stuff. Actually, wait, that's two. Oh, that's min. Eh. I was gonna say, I could get rid of this one because it's not cool looking like this one, but then this one also only has one slot. 
Battle of Steel Shield. Again, I could have been breaking all these down. But I did kind of need to recoup the cost of everything that... Bleh. Still tempted to do these Cyclops gauntlets? What do they require again? Never mind. Oh! You know? As silly as it kind of looks, it's kind of worth the five plus endurance. All right, get rid of this. What does this break down to? And it doesn't matter. Sorcery artisan. I just got this ring, right? Pretty sure I just got that ring. What is Sorcery Artisan? Air, water, talent to tongue. Max amount of... <laughs> Sorry. I, I had to make fun of the typo there. Uh, carrier cards is two. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what else there is to do now. I mean, okay, there is stuff to do. It's just that it's all behind that wall of plot. I'm pretty sure that exists. That said, really quick. Did I have a 50 or a 35 that was waiting to be added to this? I have both. Ooh. Add the 50, take out the 35, pump up the 35 to a 50, pump up the jam, pump it up, keep going, stomping, there we go. So that is 250 extra fire damage alone. I could theoretically make it, shit, what was it that the, um, Perfect circles provide. I think I can make it something like 250 for just one, but this is a whole lot of damage until I find myself a bigger, better, better crystal. Was it in this one? No. Um. Guess I'll just. No. Don't take off the pants. Put on the five endurance. There we go. And now I feel like a mage. I, I don't. Now I'm just kind of curious as to what the hell I can do now. That's not plot. Because plot's great. Plot's fine. Just I don't know what else to do. Wait, do I not have... I appreciate the business. Gods know we need it more than ever with these taxes. Don't mind me as I slowly go insane trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Lockbreaker... Right? I still need to fig- I need to look that up. Whether or not maxing out a stat with a gym and then going over that stat will provide more bonuses or not. Because that's going to drive me crazy to find out. Yeah, I don't need the willpower with the weapons. Alright. This might be the first sign that I've got to keep that actually feels like it might actually be useful for my characters. Uh, various builds. So, I'm going to go ahead and save. Call an episode. When we return... I guess I'll do the plot some more so that I might be able to open up the pathway to the uh, corrupted lads. Maybe. Ugh. I might have to try to kill a couple of guards, let's be honest here. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.